too? I am. Hold on, let me just go get Mrs. Connor. Hey guys, Molly said you were waiting for me for Motor Group. So let's get started. Let's go over what we need to get started. You're gonna need a laundry basket like we have every week. A footstool or something hard that you can stand and jump off of. A ball. Something soft and squishy that you can toss. This week I'm using a squishy that belongs to Molly. Sometimes we use a pair of socks. Some crayons. This piece of paper with some squares on it. And about eight to 10 stuffed animals or other soft items that you can put on the floor. Let's review the ball skills we've learned so far. The first thing we're gonna do is play catch. I'm gonna to toss the ball to Molly and she's gonna catch it with both hands together. And then she's gonna hold it up against her chest and push it back to me. If throwing and catching is too hard, you can roll the ball back and forth. Don't forget to do your kicking. I'm gonna kick the ball to Molly. She's gonna lift one foot, stop it, put her foot down, and kick it back. Molly's gonna work on tossing. She's gonna hold her soft item or her bean bag up to the sky, and then she's gonna reach back with her arm, and then forward, and let go. The first station in today's obstacle course is the stuffy walk. Try and keep your balance as you step from one stuffy to the next, making it all the way across without falling. The second station in today's obstacle course is pretend scooter boarding. At school, we do a ton of scooter boarding in motor group. We don't have scooter boards at home, but we can pretend we do. Molly's gonna lay on her belly, and she's gonna use both her arms together at the same time to reach forward and pull herself across the floor. Notice how she's not moving her legs to help her along. She's only using her arms to drag her body across the floor. If some of the younger kiddos are having a hard time with the pretend scooter boarding, you can help them by taking their hands, reaching them forward together, stabilizing them while they pull themselves forward. The third station in today's obstacle course is stepping up onto a stool or a box or something sturdy, one foot and then the other. Then you're gonna bend with both legs together and jump off, landing on both feet at the same time. The fourth station in today's obstacle course is the coloring station. Lay on your belly and pick up your crayon using your pincher fingers. For those, those younger kiddos, make sure you're using a small broken piece of crayon. Notice how Molly's gonna take her time and try and stay inside the lines as she colors in the whole square. Now let's see what that looks like when we put it all together. First, Molly's gonna go across the stuffy walk, keeping her balance making sure she doesn't fall off. Then she's gonna do pretend scooter boarding, pulling herself along the floor with both hands together. This is hard work. She's gonna stand up, step up, bend, jump off. And last station, the coloring station. Boy, that was hard work. I better go send my photos to Mr. and Mrs. Connor. And don't forget to clean up your stuffies. <laughs>